Today we are going to be making Hershey's uh, chocolate cupcakes. Um, the bullets at the top of the page preheat your oven to 350, so I've got my oven heated and you're going to line your muffin tin uh, with six cupcake liners. Um, so feel free to double the recipe if you want to make a dozen cupcakes. The learning target today is the cake method and learning to measure accurately and following directions. All right. So in your large bowl, you're going to combine the first four ingredients on the list. Uh, so 45 mils of margarine. Now I'm using butter. So what I did was I just took um, some butter and I microwaved it in the microwave just to soften it up so it's easier to work with. This is not 45 mils, but I'm going to be measuring that. So I'm going to use my 15 uh, mil spoon three times and just basically scoop it, um, level it off with your um, a knife or a scraper, and then you're going to use three of the 15 mil spoons. And just make sure that the butter is quite soft, okay? So a little rounded full, press it in, level it off, and put it in the large bowl, and one more time. At school, I generally use margarine. It's a, just a little bit cheaper, but whenever I cook at home, I always use butter. All right, so that is that. I'm gonna put that aside. To that, you're gonna add your sugar. So 60 mils, um, 180 mils of sugar, excuse me. Um, so to get 180 mils of sugar, you're gonna use your 60 mils scoop three times. Um, and just make sure you level off with the straight blade. One, two, and three. vanilla and egg, what I do is I generally like to put it in a custard cup just to check for eggshells. Uh, so I'm just going to put that in there, it looks good. And then to that, um, a little bit of vanilla. And vanilla just adds a dimension of flavor. So two mils of vanilla here. And I'm just going to put that into the custard cup with the vanilla, with the egg. Like so. And then I'm going to put that into the mixture with the sugar and butter. I'm just going to get all my ingredients uh, going. Um, you can see that you have 60 mils of cocoa um, at the list there. Don't add that in quite yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the cocoa, which is here, and I've got fries cocoa here, level it off, and then just set that aside and don't put it in anything at this point. So I'm just going to put that actually right here. In your medium bowl um, are the dry ingredients. So that would be your flour, baking powder, soda, and salt. To get your flour, 160 ml, so you're going to use your 80 ml two times. Scoop, double off, one, and two. And then you need 1.25 ml of baking powder and baking soda. These are your leavening ingredients. ingredients. Uh, whenever you're using uh, cocoa, a natural cocoa, you always need to use a little bit of baking soda. It activates, um, it's an alkaline uh, situation. So um, baking soda, 1.25 mils, level it off. Put that in with your flour, as well as baking powder. And then um, salt. And a half a mil, so half of the smallest one here, the 1.25, just half full. It's a little hard to get a half a mil. If you get a little more, that's totally fine. And then what I have here is warm milk, which I've microwaved in the oven for about 30 seconds. All right, so now I'm gonna start. So I've got my electric mixer here and I'm gonna beat it on low just to bring it together. And then I'm gonna beat it on high for about one minute, okay? So on low first, so just on the lower notch, just to get it together. And then once it comes together, then you can put it on the highest notch for one minute. And you want to make it nice and light and fluffy. And move your beater around if you're using a hand mixer. If you're not using a hand mixer, you can certainly use the large mixer um, and um, do it on that. And that works great too. And I'm just going to scrape my bowl down here as I'm beating. When we're making cake, we want to add air. Um, so we do want to beat that egg uh, quite, hot, quite a lot, for at least a minute on the highest notch, just to add fluffiness and like flatness to the texture. All right, so now I'm just going to 
just show you what that looks like. So nice and fluffy looking. Now, it's a little bit tricky when you add your cocoa. The cocoa is a very dry and powdery. And if I just put it in my bowl and mix it in on high, it's going to poof all over and make a huge mess. So um, I'm just going to mix it in like this a little bit first, um, just so it doesn't um, add such a mess, make such a mess. Okay, and then I'm going to start it on the lowest notch, and then I'm going to uh, increase the speed. And tell us about mix. So now it's not going to pop up. Okay, that looks good. Now I'm going to do uh, a Now the cake method is just a unique way of making cake and making it fluffy and texture. There are other ways to make cake, but this is the original true version of cake method. What you need to do is you're going to alternate the dry and the liquid ingredients. Okay, so you've got your warm milk and you've got your um, flour with your leavening agents, so you're going to alternate. You always start with the flour and you end with the flour, which means that you do this in thirds and this in half. So I'll show you what that looks like. Shake in a third of the flour mixture. And then on low, beat just until it comes together. If you over mix it, you're going to have a tough cake, okay? So just uh, mix that. And then while um, you beat that in just until it comes together, and then you add half of your milk. And stop and pour in half of your milk. And then again on low, just on the lowest lot, otherwise it's going to make a mess. This is the messiest lab at school. In fact, um, I have, if you were at school with me, I'd be telling you all kinds of interesting stories of what students have done making this lab. Um, but um, it doesn't have the same impact here at home. So it is quite a funny lab to make at school. Uh, so just beat until it comes together. Then you're going to add another third of the flour. And then beat just until it comes together. And then you're going to add the remaining milk. Again on low. It splatters really easily, so one of the things that you have to watch out for, if you put the beater on high right away, it's going to splatter and make a huge mess, which often happens at school, by the way. And then you're just going to add the last of the flour. Okay, so remember, flour is in one third, then half the milk, then another third, and then half a milk, and then the last third. And now you're just going to beat it until it comes together. It should be not too runny and not too thick, and I'll show you in a, few, in a 30 seconds what that looks like. So just until it comes together, and then you just stop. And that looks perfect. Okay, eject. Now, the best way I find to pour it into your muffin tins is using um, a liquid measuring cup. And it's just going to make it a little easier than scooping. So you can see the consistency. It's a batter, not too runny, not too thick. Scrape it out, get all the batter out into here. And I'm just going to pour it in and then stop by putting my spoon underneath. Move this again. Stop. And if you make, make a big mess, um, it's okay. You can take the time, but do take the time to clean up your pan before you put it in the oven. So these get baked in a moderate oven, which is 350. Um, and it's the general temperature. Most cakes are baked at 350, sometimes 325, and sometimes 375. So either 325, 350, or 375. It's called a moderate heat. So today we're doing it at 350. Now use all the batter, and um, it should be about three quarters full. 
these look quite full. Um, we will not be making icing, so feel free to make icing at home if you want to. Um, and in the time allotted at school, we never have time really to do that. Uh, so you should have time if you want to just find a recipe and, and make that at home if you would like to do that. And I'm just going to scrape out this last little bit here. Um, that in here. I'm trying to make them all the same size, okay? Now, when we check for Dennis, I'll do that after um, to show you how to check for Dennis. But you're going to start checking it. Um, I believe the temperatures aren't quite right here. I would say probably at about 23, 24 minutes. I'll let you know uh, when I take mine out of the oven, okay? All right, I'll put these in the oven. So when you're checking for doneness on a cake, um, you need to use a toothpick. Um, if you don't have a toothpick, I'm not sure what you could use. You could try a little um, point of a knife, perhaps. Um, but um, what you do is you do this in the oven, and I've already tested it in the oven, but just to show you, pretend that this is the element here in the oven, and you reach in and you put your toothpick into the middle of a cupcake, take your toothpick out, and it should come dry, or with just a few crumbs is fine. So just a few crumbs is fine. Now, mine took only 21 minutes, um, so um, the, the ovens at school must be quite a bit cooler <laughs> because it definitely take longer at school. So start checking it at around 21, 22 minutes, okay? So remember, uh, reach in with your toothpick, prick it into the largest cupcake, uh, pull it out, and it should have just a few crumbs attached or um, dry, all right? Once that's done, they are ready to do, um, you, I would let them sit in the pan for about one minute, and then you should be able to just lift them up and put them on a wire rack to cool. Uh, and then after they're cooled, certainly you can ice them. All right, so enjoy and happy cooking.